Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn multi-threading in Java programming language. In our previous video session, we have covered how to implement thread synchronization by using a synchronized method. In today's session, you will learn how to create a synchronized block in order to maintain the synchronization when multiple threads are trying to access a shareable resource. So what is synchronized block? Let us understand. So synchronized block is a concept or that ensure that a particular section of a code can be executed by one thread at a time. This ensure that only one thread can execute a synchronized block at a given time. And what is the need of it? Sometimes, sometimes there is a situation you have a hundred line of code inside a method or you would like to make only 50 lines of code as synchronized. So you can create a block of 50 lines and you can make your 50 line blocks as a synchronized only that block will be synchronized and the rest code will not be synchronized so let us understand how to use a synchronized block method to maintain the synchronization in multi-threading concept so let us move to the eclipse id and you will understand with the help of a programming example okay so here we are taking an example to print the table of a number so what we have done we have created a class number printer inside it we have added a method print table that will print a table of a number it will take some parameter inside it we have added some code in order to print a table of a number so that is a number printer class now we have created a thread class that is a my thread one that will extend a thread class, right? Or inside the run method, we are just trying to print the table of a number three. Again, we are creating one more thread class that will extend the thread class itself. And inside this, we are trying to print the table of a number 10. Or inside the main class, we are creating the instance of both the threads and we are starting both the threads. So this these threads, thread T1 and thread 2, are trying to utilize this class number printer in order to print a table of a number. So let us run this program and you will see the output. So here we go. You can see it is showing some weird output. You are not getting the correct table of a number. It is showing 3, this is, it is showing 10, it is showing 6. So you are not getting the proper table of a number. And this is the reason the multiple threads are simultaneously accessing a common resource that is a number printer so you have to make that as synchronized so in the previous example what we have done how to create a method as synchronized so you simply you will write the synchronized keyword here right so how will you just create your method as synchronized so before void you will write the synchronized here so now your method is synchronized and whenever you will run this program, you will see what is the output of it. So here we go. You can see it is showing the table of three in a sequence and the table of next number in a sequence. Now your method is synchronized. But what is the problem inside it? We are just making or we are just creating or we are marking the complete method as a synchronized. But sometimes this is not required. Sometimes I would like to make some lines or some set of lines to be synchronized instead of marking entire method as a synchronized. In that case, you will use the concept of synchronized block. So let me help you to understand. So for example, inside this method, we have some code inside it. So inside this print table function, I have added some code, this code also, but I don't want to mark the complete method as a synchronized. I would like to mark a small section of this method as a synchronized so how will you create it simply you will write the synchronized block or inside it you will pass an object of it means on which object you are trying to provide a lock so right now i'm just adding a this keyword so it will take the current reference of an object and i will add this code inside this section right so you can see here what is the output of this program so what we have done so far we have added a synchronized block so i can write this is 
this is a synchronized block right this is a synchronized block so you can see here this is a method let me just show you how what is the body of this method so this is the body of this method so we are not marking the complete method as a synchronized we are just making some block some lines of code as synchronized and this code is not synchronized right so let us run this program rest code is the same you can see here right rest code is the same so let me just run this program and you will see the output here we are making some block or set of statement as a synchronized so right click on it and you will see what is the output of it so guys it is showing the output that is the table of 10 and then table of 6 and rest you can see the thread 0 thread 1 are not synchronized they are just executing randomly you can see the thread 1 is started then thread 0 started then 1 started 0 started 1 started 0 started and this is the way you can see but in this case the thread 1 is using this section of the code and printing the table in a sequence or in the similar way it is printing the table of a tree in a sequence so let me just run it again you will get the different output so just wait a moment let us run this again you will get the different output so here we go you can see it is showing the table of three first then it will show the table of 10 right now your thread 0 has started then 1 has started then 0 has started so you can see guys only this particular section of a code is synchronized this code is not synchronized so guys i hope you understand the concept of synchronized block and how to make your block as a synchronized so guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video please write your feedback on the comment sections thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day